why did we get our Mexican temporary residency when just a few days after we received it, we left the country and haven't been back since, five months and counting. And we have no current or immediate plans to return to Mexico. We've literally had tens of you ask us this question. Really? Tens? Okay, we've had a dozen of you ask us this question. Mm. Okay, Mom, since you asked us this question, this video is for you. Hi, Mom. Mexican lately, have I told you that? No. Yeah. Well, you were looking more Mexican, now you're kind of back to pasty Canadian boy. Funny. Okay, why? Because? Because of the low cost. Yeah, for $2,400 Canadian for both Lori and I to obtain a temporary residence in another country, we thought this was a low cost option just to provide us some options in the near future and maybe medium and long term. So the cost was definitely one of the reasons. Another reason was, was essentially it gives us an insurance option or an insurance policy where if we want other countries as options to go to, if our home country it does things like they did during the pandemic and make it uh, difficult for us to return there or even be there. This gives us an option, an insurance policy to go to another country that would welcome us long term. In addition to being able to go to another country that might be welcoming, we would also have the option to go to another country with a more pleasant climate in the winter months than our home country has. And lastly, in a situation that already happened during the pandemic, let's say we had to or wanted to leave our home country on very short notice. Now that we have temporary residency in Mexico, we can go ahead and do that pretty much tomorrow or same day even, jump on a plane, drop everything here, and land in another country that we're residents in and welcome to. And uh, a benefit and another reason why we got it is because now there's no time frame on how long we could stay in Mexico. You know how it feels. You book your two week vacation and there's that deadline. You know you're going home. Or maybe you're an expat, you drive or fly down to Mexico. You know at six months you've got to go home. So the temporary residency is so beautiful to have and it feels wonderful. There's no time frame on it. We could stay two days, two months, two years now without being kicked out. Mm -hmm. Another reason why we got that temporary residency, which we may or may not even use, is that it now gives us the option to diversify our assets. If you're like us, we certainly are like this. We're 100% invested in our home country. And from a diversification standpoint, it leaves us a little bit overexposed to that one country. All of our eggs, so to speak, are in one basket. And I'm sure you've heard since the beginning, that's not so good of an idea and that you should not put all your eggs in one basket. And so we're excited now to have the option to at least look at taking some of our Canadian eggs out and putting them potentially in other countries' baskets, which from a diversification standpoint alone is a wise thing to do. We also wanted to early on, in advance of us needing it, establish a place that we could look at retiring to. We're not quite ready to do that yet, but now with this temporary residency and most likely paving the way for permanent residency down the road, we've now put in place a legitimate option for us to retire to a country that has, like we mentioned previously, a more pleasant climate uh, than we have at least six months out of the year here in our own country. So mm -hmm. we're looking forward to now having that option already put in place. Great food, fresh produce, multiple different climates, lower cost of living are some of the other reasons why Mexico makes a lot of sense. We're not saying that we'll absolutely decide in Mexico to settle and retire in, but it's just, as Air mentioned earlier, it's just an option. Right. So those are some of the reasons why we got this temporary residency, even though we left a few days after getting it. Haven't been back there since and have no plans to return. Uh, in fact, it's coming up to where we travel away for six months again, like we do every year. And Mexico isn't on our travel plans. What is? Well, you have to watch the upcoming videos to find out. My name's Eric. I'm Lori. This is Plan Free, and thank you all for watching. If you like the video, click the like button. It's free and it helps a lot. Subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Click the blue bell icon so you always know when the next video is coming out. If you'd like to add yourself to the conversation, type a comment below, maybe share this video with some friends. And if you'd like to do us a favor to help us grow for free, watch maybe three more of our videos. That's it for us for now. Bye everyone. <laughs>
<laughs> I didn't know you wanted. Uh, that's pretty good. <laughs>